So, I have not tried Faruzan or Wanderer's, um, uh, test run yet. Mostly because I just didn't have enough space and I wanted to wait to do it. So, now I have time and I'm going to do it. Also, I find it funny that they try to give us scarabs for her. But she needs the, uh, henna berries, which they changed for some reason. However, I am not going to complain about scarabs, so I will take them happily. <laughs> I don't want to go farming for them. They seem difficult to find. But first, I'm going to do hers, and then his, and we're going to go from there. Let us start this. Right. Character description. Farozan will enter the manifest scale state after unleashing her elemental skill. While in this state, her next fully charged shot will become a hurricane arrow, which creates a pressurized collapsed effect to the target hit. The effect will burst after a short delay after dealing AoE animal damage and pulling nearby objects and opponents in. Farozan's elemental burst deploys a dazzling polyhedron that deals AoE animal damage. The polyhedron will continuously move along a triangular path. Once and once it reaches each corner of that triangular path, it will unleash a whirlwind pulse that decreases the opponent's animals and grants all nearby party members with an animal damage bonus. Extra orbs, blah, blah, blah. Academic research isn't some kind of fad. Topics don't just go in and out of fashion. I see. She's got mathematical implements as hair pieces. Wild. Where is her vision? There it is. I see it. She's also got geometric bracelets that are like rulers. I wonder if she could just pop them off and just use them as actual rulers. Like, I don't know how long this thing is. Oh, really? Pa Bam! Here's a ruler. Where did you pull that out of? It was my bracelet, obviously. Also, someone mentioned that her dress is like, like stained glass. And since then, I can't get over the fact that it does look like stained glass. Also, I don't have effects on that high, so that could explain why the effects look a little meh. When I first saw her, I was not that excited for her because I didn't like her design. But then I like heard. A hundred her... years have passed, yet there hasn't been any change to those dumb rules at the academia. <laughs> really? That's it? That's the whole voice line? Is just yeah, fuck the academia. And their stupid uh, rules. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw her design, I was like, meh, I'm not really that high for her. But then I heard that she had a sassy personality, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, no, I'm down. I'm so down. It's just, again, sadly, I cannot actually pull for her because I'm saving for a different character. Also, her shoes are rather elf-like. They're oddly pointed. Also, how did you survive in a cave? For a hundred years? Oh, what did you like... say? Oh, I'm old now, so every other phrase escapes my ears. Try calling me Madam Farozan. Then I'll see if I can pick that up. Madam Farozan, how the fuck did you survive? Mm. In a fucking cave where the water probably doesn't taste that good. And on top of that, it's probably poisoned. Huh? Or it's not poison, it's probably not uh. drinkable. And what, did you survive on mushrooms the entire time? Also, what ruin did you get lost in? And how did you get out? I have so many questions about your backstory that I probably won't know for a while. So, there's that. That saddens me greatly, I'll have you know. So many questions. Also, another character whose uh, vision is sort of on their clothes, not on their person, technically. I like the design for where she put it, too. Someone translated this, by the way. The fact that it actually follows the camera is so funny. Anything interesting else you want to- Anything- Anything else interesting? Sorry, that's my- You have to say before I 
go on to combat and stuff. Also, I'm sorry if my if I mm, voice sounds weird. I have a clogged nose, so it's affecting my breathing, and I can't like talk properly. Not, a, not that I could before, but you know. I also really like the back of her dress. It's still really, really pretty. It's also got a little bit of red in there, I think. Or maybe that's her skin. See, like the little um, in between the gold and the blue. It kind of looks like like little red gems. I think that's just that's her skin. Her dress is really cute. You got anything else you want to say? Like an actual voice line? Academic research isn't some kind of fad. Topics don't just go in and out of fashion. I see. Anyway. Huh. Yeah, I thought so. This is only the second animal archer we've had. And I kind of figured that she, her... Like, bow skills. This might be a bit too fast, actually. Her bow skills do not look anything like Venti's. I kind of figured, because his has, like, this, um, sort of feather effect to them. Hers just has, like, little strips of wind. Which, I guess, getting the fact they look rather geometric in design, that could explain some things. Anyway, let's go on to build first before anything crazy. Zero EM on an animal character? What is this bullshit? That's, this, this really isn't a bad ratio. 64 to 119 and 213 energy recharge. Like, I know she's supposed to be a support, but it's weird. Also, Favonius, rank 1, level 80. Nothing new there. And not any of the new new set. The new, um, um, artifact domain. The, um, the new animal one, which I don't know the name of. Also, the fact that you can have that. I can't. Animal damage bonus? Yes, animal damage bonus. I thought so. Again, no death, no EM, which is weird. Yeah, uh, see zero. Uh, I'll go over this in a quick second. Uh, talents triple eight, and then voice by Shandy Perke. Perek. I'm very sorry if I mispronounced that name. I have never heard that name pronounced out loud. I apologize. Uh, skills: normal attack, Parthian shot. Four. Bows, four attacks, I mean. Fully charged animo shot. Nothing new there. Her fourth set has 120, which feels like it's a lot, but it's probably not. Uh, nothing new there. Uh, wind Realm? Wind Realm? Of Nasa Nasamjinin? I swear, I'm not trying to butch these on purpose. <laughs> Nasamjinin? I think. <sighs> uh, I can really speak English. Anyway, so her skill. Uh, Farozan deploys a polyhedron that deals animal damage to nearby opponents. She will also enter the manifest scale state. While in the manifest scale state, uh, her next fully charged shot will consume this state and will become a hurricane arrow that contains high pressure currents. This arrow deals animal damage based on the damage of a fully charged animal shot from normal attack. Pressurized Collapse. The Hurricane Arrow will apply a Pressurized Collapse effect to the opponent or a character hit. This effect will be removed after a short delay, creating a vortex that deals AoE animal damage and pulls nearby opponents and not objects and opponents in. If the Hurricane Arrow does not hit any opponents or character, it will create a Pressurized Collapse at the effect of its point of impact. The Vortex Damage is considered Elemental Skill Damage. Oh my god, I cannot speak. Also, it only has a six second cooldown. Not that bad at all. And the uh, alts are the burst, the wind, secret ways. Farozan deploys a dazzling polyhedron that unleashes a whirlwind pulse and deals AoE animal damage. While the dazzling polyhedron persists, it will continuously move along a triangular path. Once it reaches each corner of that triangular path, it will unleash one more whirlwind pulse. Whirlwind Pulse, when it is unleashed, it will be- it will apply a periphetus- oh god, these words. Oh my god. <laughs> it will apply a eh, wind spell to a nearby opponent decreasing their animal res. The Whirlwind Pulse will also apply prayerful winds benefit to all nearby party members when it is unleashed, granting them animal damage bonus. So, basically, 
gives you a damage bonus and an animal res to opponents. Boom. There. Simple. Also, I'm not a numbers person, so fuck that. <laughs> I'm not reading that. <laughs> uh, first, combat skill. Uh, impetuous flow. When Farozan is in the manifest scale state created by her skill, the amount of time taken to charge uh, to charge a shot is decreased by 60% and she can apply the winds secret ways periphetus winds bales winds bail to opponents who are hit in the vortex created by pressurized glass <gasps> <sighs> Jesus Christ second combat passive lost wisdom of the seven caverns here we go when character is affected by the wind secret ways prayerful winds gift deal animal damage using normal charge plunging Elements of skill are burst to opponents. They will gain a hurricane guard effect. This damage will uh, will be increased based on 32% of her base attack. One instance of hurricane guard can occur once every 0.8 seconds. This bonus, uh, this damage bonus, will be cleared after the prayer for uh, prayerful winds benefit expires, or after the effect is triggered once. Holy shit! <laughs> that is so much reading. Hold on. Thirsty. Ah. Uh, and uh. The non-combat passive Tomes Light the Path gains 25% more rewards when dispatched on a Sumeru expedition for 20 hours. So, uh, similar to uh, Sinnoh's. Oh boy. More reading. Okay. Truth by any means. First, uh, her Constellation 1. Farzan can fire off a maximum of two hurricane arrows using fully charged imp shots while under the effect of a single manifest heal created by her skill. Okay, so basically two errors for her one skill. Okay. Uh, Constellation 2, Overzealous Intellect. The duration of the Dazzling Polyhedron created by the Wind's Secret Way is increased by six seconds. So her uh, uh, burst gets a six second duration increase, basically. Uh, Constellation 3, Spirit Orchid Stroll is just increased to her skill. And then uh, Constellation 4, Divine Comprehension. The vortex created by pressurized glasses will restore energy to Farazon based on the number of enemies hit. If it hits one opponent, it will restore 2 energy for Farazon. Each additional opponent hit will restore 0.5 energy more. Farazon, a maximum of 4 energy, can be restored to her per vortex. Okay, so basically her charge at the- never mind, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> not even gonna try. Constellation 5. Well, Wonderland of Rumination is a burst increase. And then, Constellation 6, the Wondrous Path of the Truth. Characters affected by the Wind's Secret Ray's prayerful Wind's Benefit have a 40% increased crit damage when they deal animal damage. When the active character deals damage while the affected... Oh god, I don't like reading. When the active character deals damage while, while affected by the prayerful Wind's Benefit, it will apply pressurized collapse to opponent with the opponent damaged. The effect can be triggered once every three seconds. This cooldown is shared between all party members. Oh my god, that was a lot to read. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know why I started just reading it. I just did. Anyway, yeah. Uh, C1, C2, C4, C6. Uh, if you like the character, go for it. Who cares? But uh, I'm assuming uh, people are mostly going to say that. C1, 2, and 6 are the best, while C4 is the least interesting. Uh, that may be true uh, worded-wise, but each character is constellation, so it depends. If you have her in a proper team, this may be more important, but if you have her, uh, just want her as a character, probably not that important. Anyway, let's see here basics. Uh-oh, she's got the, she's got the, uh, Inazuma and sassiness to her. Again, pretty basic stance. Very basic, nothing new there. <laughs> the hair. Hair flip is great, I like it. Yeah, nothing new there. Yep, typical put away pose. She holds it vertically and nothing new with her charge shots until I use the skill. Too late for regrets. <sighs> Dare to mess with me. <laughs> okay. I was I am actually raising Hazo, so it's kinda ironic he's in this team. 
Also, what is yellow build? I didn't check that. With Sith, of course, it is. Viridescent? Okay, floor piece, that's weird. C0. H. Zero. Uh-huh. 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 Nothing new there. Not much new. Okay, let's go. This is why I don't do Abyss. It takes ages for everything to like, spawn in. Too late for regret. Boba, get them! I must leave no stop. Segwa! Bring it on! Of course they got frozen. Gears of the storm! Can't fool me! Your test! Dare to mess with me? Confess! Yeah. Pretty simple. Well, a team wise. Bring it on! Bring it on! So yeah, nothing much new there. Anyway, again, as I normally do, I'm going to do it solo with just that character. So. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see about that. Truth repeats its course. Oh, you bitch! You gathered. Dare to mess with me? How dare you hurt me, Madam Farazan? Fuck you and your stupid. Dare to mess with me? God damn it. We'll see about that. Truth repeats its course. Too late for regret. So that went by by very quickly. So yeah. So she's definitely capable of being a DPS on her own. Definitely. Uh, I'm gonna give her some heals real quick. Yeah. As a good night should. Tears of the storm. Dare to mess with me? Move out of my way! Oh my god! Oh, so she has this like little like triangle behind her. I keep missing the fucking dash button. It's pissing me off. Too late for regret. We'll see about that. Oh, that's so annoying. I see why they have her with a shielder. So yeah, no, she can be really effective on her own. Uh, I'm gonna do it one more time. I don't know how long it lasts. Gears of the storm. Get ears of a storm. 
Huh, we'll see about that. I, I love how sassy she is. It's great. We need, we need more sassy characters to get an impact. We need more sassies. No! Run. Oh, they almost got me. We'll see about that. Oh, she's so sassy. I love it. Truth repeats its course. Truth repeats it. Truth. Come here. Come here. There's a fire. I know I have zero EM, I don't care. And take this. Gears of a storm. Gears of a storm. We'll see about that. It's also good because I don't have to aim at anybody because mobile aiming sucks. It's so difficult. Have fun with this gift. Have fun with this gift. Dare bitch. To mess with me. Yeah, okay. I may not be a super big fan of her design, but damn, her gameplay is like super fun. This is also way too fast. But it's also not normally supposed to be this fast. So. So yeah. Overall, she is an absolute blast to play. She goes by super fast. Then again, there's also the extra orbs and um, her like 250 something energy recharge. Also, something I want to test real quick if I do this. If you see that like, little triangle right there, that means that she has the uh, uh, I'm assuming the pressurized collapse. I'm gonna see how long it lasts. Yeah, it lasts that long. I know it tells me in a thing, like, go look, and then it tells me, oh, it lasts for this long. In combat, you're not going to be paying attention, that, pay, paying attention that closely to how long something is, especially with something that small. Also, it's blocked by the uh, anniversary bird, so it's probably kind of hard to tell. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll do it one more time. Sure, why not? Right. <laughs> Repeats its course. Too late for regrets. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Bruh. Oh. Oh, no. Time to clean up. I know I was just really using her, but she needs heals. <laughs> Get off me. Huh. Yep. I'll catch up. Also, oh, God, I love all... I love all sassy she is. It's great. Dare to mess with me? See, yeah, one way to combat the um. Getting taken out of the aiming shot is to just constantly be moving. We'll see about that. It's like move side to side. Most uh, enemies won't even be able to like do anything. Also, it seems like her um, ult doesn't actually do any damage. I don't think I didn't see it. Then again, actually, we'll test that and then. That's supposed to be the last run, I swear. Yeah. So. Of the okay, so that's the. So yeah, it seems like it doesn't do any damage aside from when it actually starts. We'll see about that. And the only damage that did actually happen wasn't um, ow, was it from her? It was from this. Electro slime hitting the hydro slimes. So yeah. Have fun with this gift. Too late for regrets. It's definitely better to 
pair, uh, pair her up with a shielder so she doesn't that. doesn't get taken out of the shielding her uh, aiming mode, which is very annoying. Too late for regrets. Truth will keep its course. Dare to mess with me? Too late for regrets. Ow. Also, I'm being shielded by Noel right now, so keep that in mind. Dare to mess with me? So yeah, she's. I keep saying the word fluid for every character. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, in my opinion, she is very fluid to use. Uh, high- she has a very good ratio, even though she has zero EM. She has a very good ratio from, uh, her energy recharge, attack, and then crit. If you want to take away some of the, um, energy recharge for Elemental Mastery, that may work very well in her favor. Uh, obviously, she can be used as a, uh, a support for, obviously, Hazo. That's a good, uh, example. But also for Wanderer, who's on the banner with her, so that'd be good to pull on if you actually wanted to get him and then have a um, support right there. Also, Xiao. Um, I, my first instinct was to say Seiyu, because I love Seiyu and she's also Animo. Um, you could also technically use it to boost Venti if you wanted to. Wouldn't work super well. Um, I don't think Jean would work that well either. Who else is Animo? Uh, Kazuha at his C6, if you have a C6 Kazuha, are you aiming to get him C6 like I am? That may actually be, help him a lot because his C6 gives him an Animo infusion for 5 seconds. It doesn't last long as Herverse, but if you pair them together that'll decrease his um, cooldown a bit for his skill, I believe, if I remember correctly. So technically she can be paired with any Animo user, it just wouldn't be as beneficial as it is for Hazo, Xiao, or Wanderer. Those are the top three. But for now, um, I'm still not going to pull, even though I do kind of want her because she's really fun to play. I'm still saving for Baiju when he comes out. So I'm going to leave this here. Leave you with some final words. If you are pulling, good luck. I hope you get whatever you're looking for. Be safe, everyone, and make good choices. You have anything to say, Farazan? Madam Farazan, excuse me. Why is it every time I ask, they don't have done it? What did you say? Oh, I'm old now, so every other phrase escapes my ears. Try calling me Madam Farozan, and I'll see if I can pick that up. I did! What do you mean? <laughs> Jesus. Dear Archons, 